Hi, my friends. We are today in Spartanburg, South Carolina for the Spartanburg Comic Con. I've never been. I'm going to check it out and uh, see what's going on here at the Spartanburg Comic Con. We're at the fairgrounds. And this kind of behind me here. Yeah, it looks like an old track or something. Probably used to be here. Look at the stands right here. And uh, yeah, check it out. I guess probably it's for a rodeo, stuff like that. But it's old fairground so I'm gonna go inside and check out Spartanburg Comic Con. Before we go in I wanted to walk up here and uh, show you why uh, Spartanburg is so popular down here what it used to be called or still is called over here is the train yard check it out this is why it's called hub city right here all these trains just tons and tons of tracks it goes way back here and uh yeah very cool a lot of textiles went through here at one time well still does and uh, then for their cotton also their peaches a lot of uh, peach farms were here at one time too a few have closed down over time but yeah, as you come in, you go through Gaffney, and you'll see the huge peach-shaped water tower. It's well known for that. Everybody gets a picture of it as you're going through Gaffney, heading into Spartanburg. But yeah, Hub City is where we're at. Let's get on side and see these comics and toys. So here we are. It's not a huge convention, of course. It's a small town Comic-Con, which they're a lot of fun, though. Make new friends here, a lot of cool collectibles. But this is uh, Spartanburg Comic Con. Follow First is here, which I used to belong to. Over there in the corner, getting some cool picture opportunities with those guys. But uh, yeah, here we are. We're gonna walk around and see what they have. And uh, maybe we'll find something, we'll see. Yep, and the Mandalorian Mercs are here as well with the Follow First. Yeah, I get some great picture opportunities with these guys. Here's their table here. The boys have a nice table set up. Also taking donations for charity, giving out candy. Yeah, a lot of fun. And got a little bit of anime here. And some vendors selling their goods. Homemade stuff, art. And here's my friend Dave right there, Dave Henson. And he is well known for the Charlotte Comic Con right there. We always hit that for sure. And uh, here's my friend Rick. He's all set up. Rick lives right down the street from me. Don't you, Ray? You live right near my house. Well, I live right near your house. How you doing? You're still waking up. <laughs> Good to see you, Ray. But yeah, he's been in the comic book business for, what, almost 50 years? 43 years? Yeah, that's about as long as I've known him. Yeah, at least. The old Eastland Mall days. <laughs> long time ago. But uh, yeah, good old days. They're a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, some really, really good uh, dealers here. If you can't find your comic here, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you'll find it here. <laughs> That's for sure. So, maybe we'll find some today. Um, I'm always looking for the plop comics from DC. But uh, I do want to look at the toys, too, see what they have. But, yeah, comics. Still love comics. And, uh... Also, a lot of the comic figures, too. We're going to see what they got here today. And, uh, yeah. There's a nice little Comic-Con here. And here's Weirdy Beardy. Let's head over there and see Weirdy Beardy. He's the man. He does all my music, Chris. Chris, what are you doing? How are doing? Good. He's my music man right here. So, you, every time you, you come to my uh, site, you can hear this wonderful theme music for Todd Venture. You're looking good, man. And, you. and you're I'm awake. You made the, the, yeah. The journey down. I had to come down. Okay. And this is Chuck Patterson with the Batman shirt on, which looks awesome. But Chuck is local to Spartanburg, and I was just admiring his collection of monsters right here. There's Grandpa, and there's uh, oh, Lily, and there's uh, Fred Gwynn's character, Herman, right there. I mean, I love these. These are great. That's a great collection right there of the monsters. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you, sir. And of course, you're going to have your uh, 
wrestling figures here. He's got all kinds of assorted ones. He used ones here and new ones in the boxes. But yeah, you slowly go through these. You're bound to find something in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go through these right quick. Now, I really like this Michael Myers here. Check that out. That's Entertainment Earth exclusive right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. And uh, he's 14. That's a maybe right there. Yeah, we got some cosplay here. Yeah, she looks good. These guys look really good. Some of the anime there. Looking good. I love the colors too, that pink and purple. Yeah, they look awesome. Oh, wow, they're doing tattoos here today too. Two Week Ink airbrush tattoos. So they're airbrush tattoos. Okay. So they'll look like a tattoo. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. And this is pretty cool right here. They have all kinds of cool tumblers to choose from. They're $20 each and the kids are 15. They're all themed out. Yeah, I love that. I love that Slimer and the Beetlejuice right there. Those are cool. Yeah. And they got Rocky Horror Picture Show, Never Ending Story. Yeah, a lot of cool themed ones all through here. And these tumblers by Inspired Wordsmith. I was just talking to her and they got all kinds of cool ones here. And here's their hashtag right there. So if you want to scan that, find out more about the Inspired Wordsmith. It's pretty neat. Love their stuff. And of course, here's Chris. We see Chris out all kinds of comic cons we go to his artwork is fantastic and as usual i will have his information in the description where you can find out where chris is at and get some of his artwork got a lot of great retros here check that out clash of the titans those are fantastic the old superpowers right there a lot of transformers got boxes down here full of them and of course of course you're gonna have your ninja turtles yeah a lot of great retro stuff here he's got stuff up here too on his shelves Really nice selection. He's got some exclusives right there too of the uh, Star Wars figures. Those are nice. And over here you get your singles right here to choose from. He's got really good prices too, so you gotta slowly go through them all. Love this. And of course you have Ray City Comics here. I see him all the time at different cons. He's got some of the best selection of like silver, gold, bronze age comics. And he takes care of them too. They're in these nice cases. They're all graded too. So be sure to check out Ray City Comics. All his information is right there. I'll have them in the description too. But uh, he's got a great selection. I mean, first editions, first appearances, all through here DC and Marvel. Come down and get some good <laughs> Yeah, check those out. Those are awesome. Love it. And if you're starting a collection too, always look for these type of boxes. Look at that. Half off silver and bronze age. You can't beat that for sure. Um, yeah, it's a good way to start up your collection, especially if you're looking for older comic books. So be sure to check out the boxes and always, they're a lot more labeled too. So, and then you'll have like dollar comics, you'll have $3 comics, $5 comics, and the price is marked like right there. More half off right there. He's got a bunch of them. So, and he's got a nice uh, display back here of different comic books behind him. A lot of very collectible ones, rare ones, and uh, also new ones. And here's some variants here too. Very nice. But yeah, that's a, that's a good way to start a collection, especially if you want to get the, some of the older ones from, you know, the 60s and 70s right there. And this is Archie, comic artist and writer Bill Gullier. He's doing some work right now. But yeah, you can get some signed work from him. Custom work. This is beautiful stuff. He's doing Jughead right now, colorizing him. But yeah, Bill Gullier. And I just love Archie. And he's got some real storyboards right here too that you can purchase at the prices right there and i'll have all his information how to contact him if you want some cool work of archie but he does beautiful stuff yeah we all grew up on archie and they are grading everything nowadays check this out these old vhs's yeah they have a grading system for them i didn't realize that that's pretty crazy and i love looking at the wall of comics too all the different choices the collectibles get back up just a little bit there we go um but i just love looking through all these and 
seeing uh, some of the old covers and uh, remembering that I used to have some of these and how much they're worth now. It's crazy. So make sure to check that out. It's, right. Uh, downtown Concord. It's free admission. Um, if you like craft beer, if you like comic books, something to check out. May 6th. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. We'll be sure to hit that. Check it out. <laughs> carry case right there uh, it's pretty nice 55 for Vader 35 3PO and check this out he's got a great selection of creepy and famous monsters all through here eerie more eerie Fangoria Dracula lives I'm loving these yeah he's got a nice assorted selection here check that out and I went through those magazines and I found some Movie Land Monster magazines for the collection. I'll have to show you those when I'm done here. But it's, it's pretty packed in here.
was a lot of fun. Of course, I had to close it with the Mandalorian Mercs official truck here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I've unpacked that a few times in the past from celebrations uh, traveling across the country. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to end the video here. It's a great show, small show, but it had a lot of cool stuff. I'll have to show you what I got. So watch this. So at the show, I picked up these issues of Famous Monsters on Filmland. Yeah, I got a good bundle deal on these guys. Been collecting the heck out of them, and I really enjoy getting these. Bring back a lot of memory, and uh, yeah, it's just they're really cool magazines for sure. I love these old monster magazines. Then for a dollar, I picked up this Bubba Dudley right here from the Dudley Boys. And then I also picked up <laughs> this Barry Wyndham. Now the cool, th well, not the cool thing, but the thing about it, this Barry Wyndham is not completely a Barry Wyndham. Uh, the head is Barry Wyndham, but the body, I think, is Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, it, you know, it was something he would definitely wear, except for the boots. He had those boots he would not have worn those. He wore sort of a colorful, usually a red and white cowboy boots. But yeah, there's old Barry Wyndham. And then for $10, it's really good shape. The packaging is a really good shape. I picked up this uh, Psycho Circus Gene Simmons from the 90s. Um, there's a kind of a ringmaster there. Yeah, 10 bucks. You know, couldn't beat that. I mean, it's like the packaging again is like really good shape. So while I was up in that area, I did stop by Target and just check out the toys real quick. I did pick up this Ultimate Warrior figure, one of the new ones that just came out from the Elite line. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of shows him when he first started out as the Ultimate Warrior. Then, of course, you get an extra head here uh, where he progressed to. Yeah, I thought it was a really cool, cool figure to pick up at Target. Then on the way home, I stopped by Red Genesis over in uh, right near uh, Cramerton, uh, Lowell area and picked up these figures here and uh, get one from Dark Star here. And then I also got uh, Swamp Thing. I'm not sure who this is right here, but they're pretty cool. Yeah, I just like picking up weird stuff like that. So the other thing I thought was pretty cool on uh, Swamp Thing is his arm, you know, his hand stretches out and it still works too, let me show you. Boom. <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, I had to pick him up. Yeah, I love the Swamp Thing. So yeah, I picked up some figures and uh, a lot of the Movie Land Monster magazines. Great deals on those, so I got a bundle of those. And it was fun getting that Gene Simmons figure as well. Uh, he's pretty cool. Ten bucks. Can't beat that. So yeah, all right guys, stay tuned for more content coming soon. Happy New Year, it's 2023. We're gonna have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Yeah, Connie's gonna tag along too. Well, not tag along, she's gonna be in charge. So, all right guys, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.